Hi there and welcome back to my channel on this beautiful rainy day. <laughs> so we are back with a uh, bite beauty and first off I need to apologize because the last video I did with Scorpio and then I did place your bets and somebody some beautiful viewer basically told me Binky you skipped Sagittarius. I know. I skipped Sagittarius and went straight to Capricorn as far as place your bets, and I should know better. My mom would be going, what the heck's wrong with you? <sighs> She's an astrologer. I was raised off this. She would be annoyed. I am annoyed with myself. And what's funny is I love Sagittarius. Actually, my moon is in Sagittarius, and a couple other placements are in Sagittarius. So I understand your beautiful, free-spirited self. Basically, the moon in astrology kind of represents the self. It represents, um, it basically represents anything of you being real. So, you know, the sun sign would be your ego. It's, it's basically what you kind of strive to be. If somebody says something that ticks you off, that's how you're going to react with your ego. Okay. It also represents your father. So then you have, um, your moon sign, which represents your mother. And for men, it represents your love interest. It doesn't work that way with women. Some people will try to argue it, but usually the moon sign is only for your interest with men or men for a woman that you're looking for. While women, you look more towards your Mars and also Venus for both. Um, so your moon sign is who you are when you're being yourself, when you're with close people and you're not guarded, you're just being. And it has anything to do with the self. So it's a very important thing, sometimes almost more important than the sun sign. I'm going to flat out say it. And so there you go. So I'm very close to Sagittarius. I just went on a tangent there because that's my moon sign. So I'm all fire and air, my friends, fire and air. So Sagittarius, I'm so sorry. And here's the thing. I'm just going to do it. If I were going to place my bets, place my bets which I know what it is already, so it's a little bit late, and it's what I would have done for Sagittarius, is a more burgundy color. Here's the thing, the fire signs are flashy, they're showy. So you have Aries, which is the baby, and um, the middle child is, is Leo, and then you have you know the, the oldest, which is Sagittarius. Sagittarius as well is um, a fire sign, so they're also bold. It's kind of like the bonfire versus the flaming bright torch versus the match. Now, or maybe you could even say a bonfire with a fireplace and a torch. There you go. Let's take it there because Sagittarius is not docile. That's what I want to say. Roaring, you know, bonfire, roaring fire. There you go. Torch. And the difference is Sagittarius doesn't fight all the time. Like Aries is like, screw you. When you cross them or give them the wrong look, they can be a little bit like, Psh, and it's over quickly. Sagittarius doesn't move like that. Sagittarius is a little bit older. Sagittarius is wiser. It picks its battles, but Sagittarius is not afraid to be blunt. <laughs> so Sagittarius will tell you exactly what they think of a situation or what you're doing. They will let you know. Not because they're trying to be jerks, they're just very blunt. They're some of the most blunt people in the Zodiac. And it's because why are we beating around the bush? Let's just get to the point. Heard you, Sagittarius, heard you. <laughs> so, you know, that's how they are, but they are definitely fiery. They're very passionate. That's what the fire signs represent is passion. You know, fire, of course. It, um, it moves quickly and, you know, it can create, it can cause damage in its wake. But what it actually represents is burning something down and then creating from it. So the fire signs are very creative individuals. They basically burn down and bring regrowth from that with a different perspective. So it's very creative. Um, it's about changing constantly. And Sagittarius is part of this. The difference is Sagittarius is more of the wanderer. Sagittarius is one of those things. It's half man, half beast, basically. So it's wise because it is man, but there's also that wild side to it. And part of it is it also moves. So they're the wanderer. They're the truth seeker. When you have Sagittarius placements in your chart, it represents education or represents knowledge more. It more represents knowledge and they love finding that knowledge via um, experiences. So travel, they love different cultures, they love different languages. Um, they're always looking for the truth. You could tell them their truth and they want to hear your truth but they'll listen to it and take what they want from it, but then they will go and take what they learn from other people and they'll go experience it themselves. But a lot of the time, a lot of these people will become very spiritual. 
So they will look for their own truth and their own view of what the world is. So they may be very spiritual, not necessarily religious. Um, and they're very big into philosophy. So you may see them dabbling in psychology, philosophy, which psychology is basically based off of uh, phil uh, philosophical teachings. Um, they'll look into this, you know, so they're a very interesting group of people. So I know long story or short, you got it. Long story. <laughs> so with Sagittarius for me, what I would have gone for was a very burgundy color. Um, Spice Plum is what by beauty put out, a, not this, they didn't put out anything this winter. I think because the Zodiac ones have taken over. So they basically put this one out and I think that would have been a perfect color for Sagittarius because it's more muted. It's not as in your face, but it still has a little bit of that sparkle to it. So because even though it may not be the bonfire, it's still going to burn your ass if you mess with it. Unfortunately, yeah. Um, that's not what we got. And as I've said in other videos, I feel like By Beauty has, um, <laughs> has, has kind of said, hey, guess what? We're going to make it completely different than you're expecting. And they sure did. They sure did. Wowza. Exactly, my friend. Exactly. So there you go. There it is. It is bright pink. A very cool toned bright pink. Um, when I saw this for Sagittarius, I am not going to lie, I was completely shocked. I, I really do not feel that this represents Sagittarius. And when I say this, I don't want people going, well, I would wear this color. color. I'm Sagittarius. Fantastic. I might too, but and I'm not Sagittarius. But, you know, what I'm saying with this is that this is, if you're overall representing a sign, that's what I want. I know that if you are a Pisces, you're not always going to wear mystical purples or mauves. You're not going to do that. It's okay to wear a bright red or a black lipstick, so, lipstick or blue as Pisces. It's okay. You can be a, a sign like Virgo that tends to be a little bit more muted and classic, and you're going to see Virgos wearing bright orange lipstick. It does happen, but as a whole, I wanted a color that represents the sign in the zodiac sense. So you may be a Sagittarius who loves this, but it does not represent Sagittarius. You're a Sagittarius who wants a bright pink lipstick one day, but as a whole, this does not represent Sagittarius. It absolutely freaking does not. No. Pink? When you think of the philosopher, when you think Sagittarius represents education, higher education, improving the mind, opening the mind. When you think of that and you think of the wanderer and the cultural person of the zodiac, the teacher, you don't think of bright pink. Okay, this is not, no, it's just, so, but Sagittarius, no, this isn't who they are. Um, so I find this a little confusing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it just so you can see what it looks like. So here we go. All right, I have not swatched this yet, so I'm excited. Oh, wow. Yeah. So here you go, my Sagittarius sisters and brothers and those who love them. This is Sagittarius. It's a Barbie pink. It is definitely a bold, cool tone Barbie pink. Um, Sagittarius goes into winter. So Sagittarius is going into winter. And this is not a winter color. And that's another reason why I would not pick it. I just would not pick it. Um, oof. It's pink. It is very bright and it is very cool tone. This is very Barbie pink. This is not a color I would gravitate to, but I know a lot of people would, especially during the summer. This would be a really fun color. So don't let, um, don't let my opinion sway you because that's just me. That is absolutely just me. And everybody has their own preferences. And I myself am an Aries and love bold colors, but not this way. So I'm being very biased that way. I feel like it's very white based and I don't like white based pinks. So there definitely is a white base to it. Um, and it's very nice. It was a little bit difficult. What I'm finding with these smaller bullets, because I got the um, 
the Bolt is that it doesn't, um, they're a little bit drier than the normal formula, but so it, it didn't go on as comfortably, but once it's on, it's really nice. Um, but it took a little bit to, I had to do at least two, two rounds to get the full effect. So just know, you're gonna have to put it on like twice to make sure because it was kind of patchy, but now I fixed it and it looks fine. Um, I know I'm just staring at this because I don't I don't wear colors like this, and so I'm kind of like. I think, even though it has a white base, I think it is pink friendly. If you're looking for bright pink, it's not like some of those ones that really are bright, like with white. It just doesn't look flattering. I think that this would look really flattering. I will say I don't know how many skin tones outside of cool tones, which is fine because they had a lot of warm lipsticks, so I'm fine with them doing cool tone. I just wonder how many people this would suit. You know what I mean? I just wonder how many different like skin tones this would suit. And I get it. You know, sometimes it's not about pleasing everyone because you can't. There's a lot of bold colors that are out there that I can't wear because it just overwhelms me. I can never wear black lipstick. I look like a jerk. So, you know, it's just a bit much for me. This isn't Sagittarius. That's all I'm going to say. It's just not. But it's a pretty bold pink. If you're looking for a bold Trixie Mattel <laughs> drag, race drag race reference pink lipstick. If that's what you're looking for and your favorite color is pink, you love bright Barbie pinks, you are going to love this. This is going to be for you. You're going to love this lipstick. Go get it. For me, um, I just don't, it's not a color I'd gravitate to. Again, that's personal preference. Who cares, you know? It doesn't represent Sagittarius. It really does not represent Sagittarius at all. Oh my goodness, not at all. It's just, it's not some, you, like if you're Sagittarius, and, and please correct me if you are one and tell me, you know what, Binky, stuff it, I love it because I wanna hear it. <laughs> so, I wanna hear it. So, because it really is quite, yeah. But um, I just, I don't think it represents you at all. You know, so, Sagittarius is just a lot more muted than this. They're a lot more mature, though they have a good time. God, they love a good time. Don't think that they're boring, no. But they're just, they don't, like I said, go about it in a flashy way like the other two fire signs. They've been there, done that, not having it. So um, it's a little bit much for them and it doesn't represent the thought process of Sagittarius, the, the philosopher, the deep thinker. You know, I just, this, this is a little bit more carefree. And Sagittarius can be carefree, but there's always that maturity to it. So, um, yeah, so this is it. Yay, we got there. There's a lot of talk, but whatever. So what I want to say, moving on, now you can go on. Um, I'm not going to do a place to your bets because I did it last month for Capricorn. So because of that, I'm going to talk a little bit more about Sagittarius. You can move forward if you're just here for the review and whatever. For Sagittarius's, first off, happy birthday, Sagittarius's. I'm gonna flat out say it. I don't like to pick favorites, but I actually really love Sagittarius's. They are some of my favorite people. I think in general, most people I haven't I've met few people who go, God, I hate Sagittarius. <laughs> you know, very few people say I hate Sagittarius. The other signs, people are like, you know, they they really have strong opinions about them. With Sagittarius, they're kind of the good time guy. Everybody likes them. You know, because they're kind of mature, they're smart asses, you know, but they're deep, they're philosophical, they're really interesting people to talk to. They love a good time like all the fire signs. They can be a little bit um, moody sometimes like the fire signs can be. So if something pisses them off, they're going to say it. Um, they get over it quickly, uh, but they can be very passionate especially with their viewpoints, they'll listen to you, but if you're gonna be closed down and stupid about viewpoints and just go, no, this is how it is, they're not gonna put up with that and they're gonna tell you that. Be open-minded. But um, they're extremely adventurous, extremely fun. If you want somebody to go backpack across Europe with, Sagittarius is your guy. But what I do wanna say is that they do need alone time. These are people who need Unlike the other fire signs who really thrive off um, being around people, and even Aries needs to step away. Leo less, they love people all the time. Aries sometimes needs to recharge because fire signs are like, you know, all the time. But Sagittarius kind of is that animal side needs to be alone sometimes. And because and, he's half man, half animal. And it uh, goes off into the wilderness by itself. And it does its thing, and that's how it 
reprocesses things for itself and, and, and just calms you know themselves. So Sagittarius is also known as being the bachelor of the zodiac. Yes! So a lot of Sagittarians, if you have a lot of strong Sagittarius placements in your chart, it doesn't mean that you won't get married. It, it just means that um, it, it may be a delay in it. You know, it's not unheard of with people with strong Sagittarian placements, you know, in their moon or other places to basically get married later on in life. They can be a little bit fickle with relationships for a while. Um, they can be a little bit immature with it. Where Every sign has their positives. Everyone has their negative. A Sagittarius, it could be a little bit, um, yeah. So you guys sometimes need to mature and, and get your, sow your wild oats before you find the right person and then settle down and know this is the right person and this is who I'm sticking with. So yeah, the Sagittarius. I love you guys. I think you are amazing. I have actually dated quite a few. <laughs> I have. I've dated a couple of Sagittariuses. Somehow they are some of the most charming people on the planet. They are so damn charming. And the men are damn charming. I'm going to tell you that. But again, they are the bachelor, so they're not, you know. And the thing is, I can be like that too. I can be like that very much too, where I'm like, hey, let's just see where it goes. And you have a good time and you have some beautiful memories with them. And then you both go your own way. So I love you guys. I think you're amazing. And I just, I think you deserve better than this. I'm so sorry. You know, this is something that one of the more wild signs would be putting on, but that's okay. That's okay. So next month we will be going to Capricorn. Capricorn is the last one of the Bite Beauty extravaganza, astrological extravaganza. So look forward to that. I won't give you a spoiler. It is already released if you want that spoiler. But if you want fun facts, come back next month and we will talk about the hardworking, serious Capricorn who has a fun side as well. They do. So until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.